What's up everybody, it's Dr. G. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, it's another day, I'm just here with another video for you guys. Um, it's a pretty short one. Today, I'm just gonna be talking about appearance in the workplace. My focus will be on healthcare providers. So I didn't wanna make this video specifically for healthcare providers, but quite frankly, um, that will be my focus today. But regardless of where you work, of course, appearance does matter. Now I will say though, there are people that have argued with me, especially um, those in healthcare, they say, well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you're here to take care of patients. What's the big deal? You expect that your scrubs will get dirty. You expect that your hair will be messed up. Say if you work in the emergency room or the ICU, you know, like critical care setting. People have different opinions about that, but I am of the opinion that appearance does matter. And hear me out. This is why I say this. So imagine you're a patient, you're a sick patient, right? Would you rather a doctor that's like well put together as far as appearance? And when I say put together, I'm not saying have your makeup, hair all done like from hair to toe, stuff like that, or clicking and clacking with your six inch heel, stuff like that. I mean, clean, presentable, professional appearance. Would you prefer that as a patient as opposed to having someone that just feel like they just rolled out of bed, did not comb their hair, did not shave, you know, didn't even iron their scrubs or whatnot. I'm just saying, I mean, you guys can tell me what you think, but here in my my residency still you know we've had a few conversations about this I've actually had colleagues that say you know you come to work and you look all scruffy and everything um, it's kind of like an indication that you've been working very hard but I'm like why do you have to be that way in order to show that you've been working hard it, honestly I still find that mind-boggling that one really just does go over my head I don't get it but guys I think if you want to be taken seriously, then you need to dress seriously. You know that saying that looking good is good business. And I like to think that when you look good, you know, you have that self-confidence. So you look good, you feel good, and then you do good too, right? It's one of my favorite sayings, especially with my patients, especially the older folks when they like, I walk into their rooms and stuff and say during rounds in the morning, and then they'll ask me this question like, how do you manage to put yourself together every day? I will always be one of the lines I'll throw at them. You know, when you look good, you feel good, and then you do good. On a more serious note, guys, I think, the way you present yourself is the way that you're asking others to view you. And when it comes to appearance, again, this is not you going to do your full on makeup. Again, not everyone wears makeup. Not a lot of people know how to do their makeup in the first place, but it's about being clean, being presentable, having those scrubs that for the love of God, like iron your scrubs. Again, speaking of ironing scrubs, I know a lot of people do not like ironing. If you're like me and don't like to iron scrubs and stuff, you can actually buy you a handheld steamer. It's about $25 on Amazon. And here's the little steamer that I use, guys. Usually it takes about one to two minutes and then you're done on your way, you know? don't have to look like a crazy person with those wrinkle scrubs. Of course, not everyone wears scrubs to work. Some people wear business casual. Where I work inpatient, normally we will wear scrubs. And then when we're in the clinic or other places where we're not having to be in the main hospital, normally we're free to wear whatever. Some days I wear scrubs and then some days I wear like business casual, but it doesn't matter what you wear. The most important thing is to make sure that it's clean and then you look professional. Speaking of scrubs, you can also invest in some anti-wrinkle scrubs if you don't like to iron that's another thing you know some of these scrubs like you can wash them throw them in the dryer get them out and wrinkle free and you're not looking like you slept in your scrubs basically but it's about presentation guys that's how i feel though but some people feel that your parents should not matter especially if you're working like in high acuity environment like the other reason why i feel like your parents does matter too is because so wherever it is that you work you are an embodiment of the organization that you represent so myself for an example, the hospital where I work, every time I show up there at work, that's my stage, right? You are there to put out your best performance. Bottom line, it's okay to look good when you go to work. There is nothing wrong with that. You're not just representing yourself. You're representing the entire organization that you work for. But that's my two cents about your appearance in the workplace. Guys, until next time, y'all take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Send me your questions or comments or anything. Y'all take care of yourself.